G'day guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ryan and this is Rise Descent. So, I was hoping to release a video a little bit sooner than this, but um, unfortunately some technical difficulties has delayed that process. And I also took the time to upgrade the microphone camera. So I hope you guys can see the um, quality is better. And also I've decided to film outside. Um, I think it's a better background for sure. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy this new background and if you can see you know, any change in the quality. So today I'm actually gonna be reviewing my favorite creed and that is Silver Mountain Water. And it was actually created by Olivier Creed back in 1995. And when I actually found out that this was 25 years old, I have to admit, it really kind of shocked me. <laughs> I, I thought this was released more back in like around the Aventus days, like 2010, around then. So I, I actually find this smells quite modern. And yeah, like I said, it absolutely shocked me that this is 25 years old. It definitely does not smell dated at all. Now, when Olivier Creed was actually creating this, he used the inspiration of skiing in the Swiss Alps. So his idea behind this scent was actually to recreate the idea of, um, you know, the beautiful, um, the Alps with the snow and the cooling and with a beautiful um, river. And I definitely think, I can kind of see definitely where he was going with this. You know, you got this beautiful cooling feeling and a, like a slight greenness in the, in the scent as well. So I think he did a pretty good job. Now, I definitely think this scent is unisex, leaning masculine. I think it is leaning masculine. Uh, ladies, you might like this one. Definitely get your nose on it and give it a try. It is marketed for men, but yeah, definitely give this one a shot. I think a lot of women might actually like it and pull it off. Now, the notes in this one are, in the opening, uh, it is bergamot and mandarin. In the mid, tea and black currant. In the base, galbanum, musk, sandalwood, and pettigrain. Now, definitely in the opening, you're going to get a big blast in, of that uh, bergamot. And the note that I also get in the opening that people don't talk about so much is that mandarin. And I also think that lends to this slight uh, tartness in the opening. And also, you get the beautiful black currant and the tea. So, that coolness that you get in this scent definitely comes from the bergamot and the the tea and the tea also gives a slight greenness and um, re like relaxing feeling to it uh, also the one of the main notes that people talk to and this one's quite famous for is this inky note and I think that's kind of well I've been trying to figure out but I think it's from the the, uh, the black currant um, maybe a little bit of the galbanum and like the musk is like creating that accord this inky accord now, you might like that. Some people don't like it. Personally, I love it. And that's one of the things that really brings me to this scent. As it starts to dry down, you start to get a lot of this beautiful, what I would call like a white musk, much like this bottle and that sandalwood. And it adds this beautiful um, depth to the fragrance. I think, you know, I think this has a lot of depth to it for a fresh scent. Now, I get seven plus hours with this scent. Of you know, yeah, seven to eight hours, I'd say. Uh, after about three hours, you know, you get nice protection for the first three hours, and then after that, it starts to sit closer to the skin. You get about an arm's, you know, about an arm's length projection, which really helps with the compliments. This one will bring in compliments. And I've actually heard Big Beer Business talk about it, and he, he calls this one the, um, the wife stealer. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that myself. But I definitely think it would help um, on a date or something. You know, I think women um, really enjoy these fresh scents. So if you're on a date in summer or in the springtime, this would be a perfect time to wear it. And I'm, I, for me, I mainly wear it more in the casual settings. I wouldn't wear this one formally. You can, for sure. There's no reason why you couldn't. I really feel for this scent for me is, you know, if I'm feeling a little bit down in the dumps, I wake up in the morning and I just want to pick me up, you know, that scent that really picks me up and I hit the day running. This is the one I always grab. I just like gravitate towards this one when I, you know, I need something to, to boost me and make me feel a bit better. Uh, this one you could definitely wear all year round if you wanted to, but I prefer it in the spring and summer for sure. Now there's a few other scents that smell very similar. I mean, it's been around for 25 years and it's, it smells fantastic. So obviously people are gonna have inspired interpretations. <laughs> the main one that I actually own um, is Mephisto. 
and by Zerjoff, and it is absolutely stunning as well. It actually replaces this inky note for more florals and uh, like slight fault. So the, the freshness is the same, but it takes the inky note and then replaces that with more like a floral feel to it. I think that one's probably better suited for late for the ladies. I think you, they might be drawn to that one a little bit more to wear for themselves. Uh, I think the other one is uh, other ones are from L Rehab, Amaf, and Bond Number no. Nine Hampton. I haven't actually smelt those ones myself, but I've heard they're quite similar. The benefits of those ones they might be a bit cheaper. So if this Creed, you know, Creeds are a little bit out of your price point, but you really like this scent, you want to get something that's similar, maybe try one of those. That's one of my beasts with Creeds. I think for they are quite expensive. <laughs> and I do not feel they put enough naturals in, uh, in their sense. There are a lot of other niche houses that have put a lot more naturals and I really respect them for that. And I think Creed could add a lot more naturals, you know, uh, more naturals to their fragrances, especially for the price point. <clears throat> now, I hope I've done this scent justice. <laughs> like I said, it's in my, it's probably my favorite summer scent and I definitely think this would be in my top five overall, and it's more obviously my number one Creed. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, review. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.